There's a House bill to weaken the punishment of some drug laws. It's now dead on arrival, as Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick made that announcement on House Bill 63 today. He took to Twitter and wrote the following, I join with those House Republicans who oppose this step towards legalization of marijuana. Tonight, Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza is live in the control room with what this means for the penalties surrounding the possession. Noelle? Well, Leslie Robert, the bill passed in the House, but that's as far as it got. It would have reduced the punishment of having an ounce or less of marijuana to a Class C misdemeanor. The Waco Police Department says if that would have been the case, they would, of course, follow the law. As Waco PD does, we will enforce the laws that, they're, that are written by our government officials. And at this point, nothing changes for us until that law is, in fact, in place and a law will continue to enforce the laws on the book. The Federal Bureau of Investigation says in 2016, Texas law enforcement made nearly 65,000 arrests. Of those, 98% were for simple possession. There's absolutely no reason to be putting these people in jail, giving them criminal records that follow them for life. It impacts their future job opportunities opportunities, education benefits, and housing opportunities. The Libertarian Party of McLennan County says there's no reason why Texas law should be this harsh when 25 other states are moving in the other direction. Not throwing people in jail, not wasted police resources, not wasted court resources, and quite frankly, this is policy that is ruining lives and is rooted in decades of misinformation and just bad law. Marijuana law enforcement at this point is something that we deal with on a daily basis. We know it's here. We know it's around. We arrest people for it. Others believe marijuana addiction is not criminal behavior and it shouldn't be treated as such. I think adding criminal statutes on top of possession of marijuana is absolutely the wrong way to go. Addiction cannot be treated in prison and it can't be treated in jail. And when it comes to the role of cannabis in the medical world, some still have questions. You have to have the medical science to back it up and that means proper, proper testing. There's a whole lot of answers that we have yet to find so that we can best use cannabis for the greatest need for the greatest good. Now, since Lieutenant Governor Patrick has killed the bill, only Governor Abbott can bring it back to life. Live in the control room, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.